Megalodon is one of the newest anime on the block. And let me tell you, this shit is some heat. Like it's been a while since I watched one episode of an anime and said to myself, this has so much potential. At the time in the video, three episodes are out and we expected to receive nine more, giving us 12 episodes for season one. Before we get into the story, just want to give you a quick spoiler warning for the three anime episodes currently out and for the manga chapter one through three. If that doesn't bother you, then forever hold your peace. Also, I'm not going to keep saying Don to Don, so from now on, I'm just going to say DDD, which obviously you know what that means. DDD is a simple story where two characters, Ken Takakura and Momo Ayase, embark on a wild horror comedic action packed slice of life story where the two complete missions to exercise ghosts and destroy aliens. Now, what has people so hyped about this? Well, for starters, that opening is catchy and stylish as fuck. Eight chef kisses. Mwah. Magnifi. But aside from that, part of it is obviously how great the characters are. Ken, also called Okarun, is a boy who believes in aliens and UFOs and seeks to make contact with them. It may seem weird to some, but because of his weirdness and introverted personality, he was bullied and ostracized by people, so he sought to create bonds with aliens hoping to be accepted, but even they never answered him and later on even tried to kill him with some flat out denying his plea to be friends. He was alone for so long until Momo stood up for him and acknowledged his existence to defend him from bullies. Now at first we see she's a feisty girl that isn't afraid to throw hands, recently went through a breakup and has a huge crush on an actor also called Ken Takakura. Throughout the first episode, we see moments that shows she's a confident, feisty, no bullshit type of person. But I think her best quality is her compassion and empathy that she shows, and she displays this to Okarun when despite not knowing who Okarun was, she still chose to defend him, most likely because she herself went through similar bullying. She does say some hurtful things when he talks to her about aliens, but she quickly regrets it and states her belief is more in ghosts. The two argue about their beliefs, challenge each other to prove their beliefs, and from there, each of them experience a life-altering event. Upon watching, you'll notice that the show isn't afraid to be more on the comedy side. Now, comedy is subjective, but I actually do enjoy most of the jokes and the comedic moments so far. It feels natural, and it really helps us like both Okarun and Momo even more while we see their friendship become something more memorable and significant over time. The two really go well together as a duo and I can't wait to see how they interact with other characters in the story. Next, we gotta talk about the huge potential this show has. Earlier, I discussed these two going on a mission to exercise ghosts and exterminate aliens. This mission starts all because of this ghost called Turbo Granny. And she basically took Okarun's slong, literally, while putting him under a curse where he'll get possessed and go berserk, adding to this constant looming threat that if Momo can't for some reason use her powers, then her life and everyone's life around Okarun is in danger. At the same time, Momo was about to non consensually be probed, also literally, and kinda yikes with that scene, but luckily they were messing with her head. And her psychic powers got awakened, aliens got clapped, and she then offered to help release the curse, get Okarun slung back by defeating Turbo Granny, of course with some training involved too. Not gonna lie, it's funny and creative, and I can't wait to see where they go with it. I know there's way more crucial details in these episodes, but for now, I just want to highlight certain factors for why you should start the series if you haven't already, or heard about it. And are unsure how it might turn out, or you watch a couple episodes and you just like it. I see a high potential with this, like for real, think about it. The show draws inspiration for ghosts from Japanese urban legends, which there's a huge plethora of. For example, Turbo Granny is a famous urban legend herself. You may have seen another iteration of her in Mob Psycho as well, but basically she's just an urban legend where people say like you can be driving and like she'll catch up to your car 
and in the malicious versions of her she might cause you to like get in an accident or she's meant to deter people from speeding the author can literally also go balls to the wall with anything freaky that comes to mind and boom be like that's an alien i mean look at this dude but i digress the potential for villains or other characters is basically limitless plus second episode gives us the idea that Okarun can somewhat use Turbo Granny's power with Momo's psychic control, but we all know their powers will develop more over time, which also leaves more opportunities open. The show sets itself up well, easy to understand, potential for other avenues is limitless, and honest to god, I can't wait to see how the animation continues, because don't get me wrong, the manga is good, but man, some of the animation scenes like Turbo Granny first running truly outdid the manga in that regard. Along with that comes some more fire fighting scenes as well. Lastly, obviously more characters will appear and as long as they are utilized well, it'll probably be more proof to tap in and lock in with this series. Plus, Momo's grandma coming in, giving us some further world building. I believe this series fills this role really well being a shonen. Then again, Jujutsu Kaisen was a shonen, and stuff got pretty dark like it was a sign-in. So who knows, DDD might pick up a more serious tone as the story goes on, which also might not be a bad idea. Now, I know this isn't my usual record of Ragnarok, but honestly, I think I'm going to pick up this series as well, and I'll be reviewing the manga chapters, picking up wherever the anime season 1 ends. I'll give a season 1 analysis once the season is complete too. So it'll be both this and Records of Ragnarok now probably. Hope that excites some of you guys. I'm really psyched for this series. Hope it does well with all its popularity. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Shoot your boy a like and subscribe to just show your support for this series. Appreciate you all as always and comment down below if this is what you want me to start going over as well. That's all I have for y'all today. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.